Well, hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Anthony Sequera, and this is yet another Trouble Ticket video solution. And I want to thank uh, all the folks that have emailed me the great feedback about these videos. Uh, so glad that you're enjoying these video solutions to your Trouble Ticket homework. So here in Trouble Ticket 3, we have R6, which cannot ping the 2001999 colon colon 9 address. And for those of you that wanted to see a top-down type of approach using Quickfire, let's go ahead and do that today. So we'll go ahead and go top-down. First thing I'm going to do on R6, of course, is I'm going to make sure that it is truly a problem. So let's make sure the ticket is truly an issue. So we are going to try and ping that address and no valid route for the destination. Okay, so we are lacking a route. In a top-down quickfire approach, we're going to go right to show IPv6 EIGRP neighbor. And we see we don't have a neighborship. And to do something a little different in this video, I'll also start at the source instead of our normal quickfire approach of starting at the destination. So we'll sit right here and I'll go ahead and do a, oh, how about a show run interface for FA0 slash zero, I believe is the interface in question. What I'm doing here is I'm checking for any kind of filtering or any kind of advanced controls up at the higher layers. I'm checking out the addressing against the diagram, make sure that's good, make sure the EIGRP command is under the interface. I might then also do show run begin IPv6. You gotta spell begin right. Uh, what I'm doing here is, that's not what I wanted to do. How about this? Show IPv6, begin IPv6 router. There we go. I want to look at what's going on under the routing process. We can see it is not shut down. That's good. So from a top-down perspective, things look pretty good here on R6. We'll wrap it up with show IPv6 interface brief, and we'll check those lower layers we need the fast ethernet zero slash zero up up. I suppose it's also conceivable here that we need the loop back up up. Great. I don't know if I made any changes. I'll save my configuration just in case and I'll slide over to the next hop, R7. We'll do show IPv6 EIGRP neighbors. Let's see if it's neighboring with R9. Notice I'm, I'm doing the same kind of process. Nope, not neighboring with anybody. Okay, so we've got issues on both of the interfaces that we're supposed to form neighborships with. Let's do our show run begin IPv6 router. And okay, we're in the no shutdown state. That's good. Let's do show run interface fast ethernet zero slash zero. And oh, we see a problem. Look at that, we see a problem. Anyone see it? Examine this uh, configuration closely. And there is a fat fingered IP address. So we'll go interface fast ethernet zero slash zero IPv6 address. Oh, by the way, let's negate what they got there because we can we know we can have all ah, we know we can have all these uh, IP addresses on the interface so we're going to na negate what they have there and we'll go in with the correct command there we go do logging console by the way why didn't that work All right. Show IPv6 EIGRP neighbor. Still nothing. Let's do a show run interface fast ethernet zero slash one. How is this checking out? Uh, that looks good. Show IPv6 protocols. This will give us more information. Let's make sure nothing strange is going on under here. That all looks good. Wow. 
Wow. All right, well, you can't just sit there and stare like I'm doing. Let's go over to R9 and keep troubleshooting. Yeah, I wanted a show run. And it must be 0 slash 1. All right, that looks good. Aha! Uh -huh. The process is shut down. IPv6 router EIGRP 100, no shut. The process will default to a shutdown state. So it's not all that surprising when you see it shut down. I don't know if logging's on over here. Boy, that's pesky. Probably the first thing we want to do is enable logging. And look at that, we have our neighborship. Awesome. Now let's backtrack R7. All right, so all we have left is one neighborship here with EIGRP, and that is between R7 and R6. Show run. Let's look at that EIGRP config again. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Let's ping our neighbor. Uh, Something is wrong between these two. Show run interface fast ethernet zero slash zero, I believe. Up. Oh. Well, that's the problem going top down. You can miss stuff like that. And look at this. Now we want to quickly run over to R6 and ping the trouble ticket issue in question. Ooh. All right, we're neighboring with everybody. And now here come all the routes. Okay. So we should be able to ping, if we have the address right, we should be able to ping that destination. Whew and we're good. So a little bit of a different approach here. I went ahead, I, I don't think I liked it. <laughs> I'm not used to doing it this way. I went ahead and did top down and I started from the source and moved my way out to the destination. The top down approach had us starting way up there at layers, uh, layer three really, with our neighborship verifications as we went through. And we, did top down all the way to the bottom. And there were some issues here at layer three with IP addresses and shutdown routing processes. And then there were some issues, of course, uh, all the way down at layer one where we had shutdown interfaces. So top down, some of you prefer that. I wanted to go ahead and demonstrate that kind of logic as we worked through this trouble ticket number three. Great job, everyone, and of course, thanks for watching.